Hey everyone, today I am working on one of the most intimidating projects I have ever done. I am painting a piano. I have to be honest with you, when I was first asked to do this, the thought of it horrified me almost as much as my piano playing does. I was afraid that if I did anything to change the piano, it would change the sound of it later. But I've since learned that painting a piano doesn't affect its sound quality. In fact, people paint pianos all the time. So if you have a piano at home, why not paint it to suit your style? It's a big piece of furniture in your room, and if it clashes with the decor, change it to something that you actually are going to love. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you just how to do it and take you along step by step. I'm going to start by dismantling the piano as best I can in order to sand it. I'll admit this part is a little freaky, but the good thing is each one of these keys is numbered one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So at least I'll know exactly how to put them back. I got the piano all taken apart and I was careful to label where a lot of these hinges and screws came from so that I know exactly how to put it all back together. I also covered up the insides of the piano to protect it from any paint overspray as well as some of the dust from the sanding. I began the sanding already with some of the pieces that I took off and now it's time to tackle the body of this piano. The piano's all been sanded, but there's still one more thing I'm going to do before I start to paint, and that's add this beadboard and wood trim to the bottom panel of the piano. And it's going to serve two purposes. One, it's going to give it some visual interest, and two, it's going to cover up this bottom portion that's been worn off over time. I ended up spraying four coats of paint to get the right amount of coverage and once everything dried I put everything back together and now what I'm doing is applying a clear wax protective finish on everything. Now there's all kinds of products out in the market for this but I'm actually using Annie Sloan soft wax and the reason for that is the owner of the piano asked me to give it a distressed looking finish and it just so happens that Annie Sloan makes a dark wax to work in conjunction with the clear wax and it's perfect for distressing. The way that it works is you first apply the clear wax on everything then you take the dark wax add it to the areas that you want to look distressed then you take the clear wax again and you rub off as much or as little as you want. It's a wax on, wax off effect, kind of like the Karate Kid, only so much easier. And it's fail proof. As you can see, my piano playing has not improved. Fortunately, the look of the piano has. Here it is, all finished and in its own home. Now, a couple things to keep in mind if you're considering doing this. Number one, this is not something that you can do in a weekend. Give yourself at least a week, maybe even more. The other thing is that paint takes about 30 days to cure, so you're going to want to be careful not to put anything too heavy on it right away. Also, you can give it that clear coat, a wax finish, about once a year just to make sure it stays protected. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. We're going to leave you with one more look at it before and here it is after. Be sure to check out my other posts by following me at Murals by Marcy on Facebook and MuralsByMarcy.com. Thanks for watching.